Good afternoon, beautiful people, and welcome back. If you want to see how I achieved this look, just stay tuned for the next clip of the video. So the first thing I like to do is outline the bottom of my brows by using light thin strokes. Then I move on to outlining the very top and then go ahead and fill in everything you just outlined. I like the back of my brows a little bit darker but not too dark. Then I go ahead and fill in the front of my brows by going upward using again light strokes. Then I'm going to take my spoolie and just brush those out. And you repeat the same steps on the opposite side. Also, your brows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. I prefer mine to be identical twins, but sometimes it don't work out that way as you will see um, going forward in this video, but I fixed it and made it work for me. And I added the setting powder under my eyes. So when I go ahead and do my eyeshadow that the makeup doesn't get on the rest of my face. Um, I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this and I find it is very helpful. Also, I didn't know this trick until recently and it actually works very well. And I'm just going in with some concealer and outlining that bottom brow to fix up that line. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. And as you can see, that concealer goes perfect with my skin tone. I didn't want to use a light color. Um, no reason in particular. I just didn't feel like it. And as I was fixing my brows, I noticed that one looked a little bit higher than the other one. But oh well, I wasn't about to take it off and start over. So all I did was just add a little at the top of the one that was a little lower. And that helped a little bit. Now I'm just going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil and add this to my eyelids. And use my ring finger to blend that out. Um, and I'm going to also... Go ahead and use some setting powder just to set that so everything can be nice and smooth when I go ahead and move on to adding my eyeshadows. I'm going to insert the eyeshadow color that I use from my Huda palette and everything also will be listed in the description box below. And I just blended that all over my eyelid on both sides Now I'm just going ahead and going in with my second color. It was supposed to have been the pinkish color, but I used the wrong one and I wasn't going to take it off. So I just went with it. But the more I blend everything out, I actually started to like the colors together. I made sure everything was blended out evenly before moving on to my third color. I added some more yellow just so the yellow can pop a little bit more. Now 
now I'm just going in with this burgundy looking color and I'm going to use that at the back of my eyelids making a V shape and I'm trying not to use or go too heavy with that only because I want it to be light And I kind of made the top part of it a little bit longer. And I added more of the colors when needed. But I just made sure that that was evenly blended out. I repeated the same steps on the opposite side. I added some more yellow again so that yellow can stand out a little bit more so those two colors are not overpowering. Now here is my part that I struggle at a lot is the wing part but I noticed doing it this way actually looked better than the way that I was trying it. And I just started with making one line and then making the other line and then filling that in before moving on to making it on my waterline or lash line, whichever you prefer to call it. Now I'm just making sure that they are even and of course me rushing and moving too fast I got it over the line just a little bit but what you can do is just take a, a brush um, and just add the product on there and kind of wipe that away. I didn't do it too much because I didn't want all of my product to move from my eye. Now I have to rush to add mascara because of when I add my my eyeliner some of it got on my lashes and i didn't want my lashes to stick together now i'm just adding my final mascara and i took my jumbo pencil and added a little bit of that white to my bottom eyelid just so I can add a little bit of those colors at the bottom also so my eyes can pop even more. And for me adding mascara on my bottom lashes is optional. Um, sometimes I do it and sometimes I don't, but in, for this look, I wanted to do it.
and I just took a blending brush I think that's what it's called or a powder brush and I just wiped away that setting powder and smoothed everything out and now I'm just going in with some bronzer now I'm taking my go-to lip liner and it's night moth by Mac again everything will be listed in the description box down below and then I added some um, matte lipstick on top of that and blended that out with my finger as you just seen and then I'm just gonna go in and add um, some lip gloss on top of that and take some setting spray and you're all done thanks for watching hope y'all enjoyed this video if you want to see more looks on this just leave a comment in the comment section down below. Everything that I use will be in, in the description box down below. Also, don't forget to follow me. All of my social medias also will be in the description box down below. And if you haven't done so, like, comment, and subscribe. And also tell a friend. Thank you.